yeah it's i think it's recording so today what we'll have is we'll have a very uh, we have a very basic and interesting project uh, of authentication a uh, user authentication using uh, flux in the backend and we'll have react in the front end so what we're going to do is today we will we will use a, a, a server side session today a server side session for for the authentication uh, we're not using J json web tokens because uh, you know storing that uh, token in, in, in the client is pretty complicated because uh, you're not exactly uh, you're not getting the access token to get the access token you are every time you're generating a refresh token that will refer to access token and storing it to the client side just not just complicated it's not a very secured way of doing it because it, it can be maliciously hacked by the SSRS attack easily. So in that case, we are using session sided ID, uh, session uh, server sided sessions today. And so how it works, like if we talk about the, how the server sided session works. So every time uh, you every time you log in, you will get a, a client will get a request. I will get a request to the server. A server will set up cookie. That cookie uh it's called the session id the cookie that i'm talking about and so you you get a response you refer to a particular cook a particular session id now if the session will have a particular session id that means you are authenticated you can do the authentication task so that is exactly what we're gonna do here we will uh, create will create an user login model we will create an id and for that from that we create a session id and that id will will have will definitely gonna refer to that particular session and so if the session will have a session id we can simply say that yeah you're authenticated and that is exactly what we are gonna do here so first we'll go to the models here we're setting the models with the table name user we're using the sql algorithm now go to the uh, requirement files i think Definitely, we need the flask. We need the uh, SQL algorithm uh, for the SQL related task to get the model. We need the bycrypt to hashing the password. We need the Redis because we want to store it uh, in the server side, the session ID, and storing the the value pair, key pair values. We can use the storing the key pair values. It's very useful. The dot env will have the flask session, and we definitely need the cause because both the cases. We'll have like in the React and the Flask itself, they have the bold local IDs. So we so will pass the data through the HTTP request. We might get problems. So now we'll get into the model. We have the ID. We'll have the email and the password. And the ID we're setting it. We are getting the default ID. We're getting it for a particular function called UID. So every time we get a random UID. Now whenever we register this model. Now inside that, what we'll have, we we'll also have a config file where you're just setting the default database as a SQL light, and we're setting the Redis here, and this is the URL, the path, and if you want to get like from where I'm getting it, you can simply say the CMD. So the CMD you should just write Redis. So we will get that ID. Now this is what we have done. And we have here, we're just declaring the session, we're declaring uh, uh, the course and the due itself. And now what are the routes? We'll have four routes. We'll have the info route. We'll have from where we'll just eradicate the information. That is that it's login ID and password. And we'll have the register route. We have the login route. And last, we have the logout route. And so getting into the register route, we're just getting the email and the password we're just retrieving the email just following the algorithm here like here the query this is the query to get the user by the username here we're using the email address that's it we'll get the id and we see if there it's, it's not registered if it's already been registered we'll say the user is existing we are just hashing the password if not we're hashing the password we are creating a new user and the new user 
is when you user id we are creating the session id itself and we're returning a particular response for the login as well we are doing the same thing you see the user is already there and if the password is not hashable we just say 401 status with a unauthorized message and again we're creating the session the session id and we'll say logged in logged out again so logged out uh, it's not here really in, like using here it is we are using this route for the react because we are validating using the user id if the user id is something we'll have a different state and if it's not we'll have a different state we're using the ter ternary operator so that is the reason we are just popping in the logout we're just popping the session out and the info mission so if it's logged in uh user is logged in we'll say simply if the if they have the session id if you see uh we'll get the id and the email if not we'll again get the unauthorized 401 record now we'll test it we'll run it we'll say python app py and we'll go to the simply not this i need the postman sorry not remote desktop simply open the postman take a good amount of time not the remote desktop we need the postman here is the postman let's see whether the backend is running yeah backend is running and we will see we will go to the postman taking all the time in this world and there is internet is running yeah so we'll have yeah so we'll we'll go to the body here the post because the most most of the methods that we use register is both at the post method here is so first we'll say login uh let's use the register first yes okay just uh, if i'm not wrong yeah and now the post method and this is the rahul register i think it is already registered so it should give me by saying that the user is already existed so we'll get an error by 409 status it's already registered if you'll have let's say rahul i think that raj also have created with testing it before the raj is again it says already created let's create another rahul raj ram is also created let's say shayan my friend uh so shayan with a particular password you're saying you successfully registered this is the email and this is the id that hex your ui id that is being generated now if i go to not that that if every time it's registered it will hash a particular cookie to it the the session cookie that the session id that is generating using that we can say it's authenticated now if i go to the login i want to log in with the, the same shion id post method i go there and it says you are successfully logged in now if i just simply give a wrong buzzer can i wrong it no we'll definitely get an unauthorized record with a 401 by saying that you're not now if i simply go back to the info since it's logged in and it has a particular cookie i think i should get that i'm getting the 401 method it's not right because the cookie is let's see oh i have the wrong password zero two six six or seven i guess six is there this is not seven one two three four five six seven is it seven i have to log in first hello log hello g log n so log n so one two three five six let's just log in first so you are logged in now go to the info info with the same thing i think i should get uh where i'm getting 401 not hashable uh, info let's check the route here is it info 
is it m4 yeah it is m4 let's check it again with m4 it's sending it i guess it's not allocated why i'm getting this uh, let's say to achha, i'm setting to post method huh? i have to get it get method so here you will get using uh, you'll get the reason I'm getting the ID because the cookies is there. Now, if I go to the cookie and I will simply eradicate this, now I don't have a cookie, now it's not authenticated. If I forget to set, we'll get another. So, this is how our backend is working perfectly fine. So, now when we are done with our uh, backend, we'll go to the front end, which is a simple React app. So, we'll go to this. This is the PS code and we will run the server it will be npm start start and we it will take some time so now we will just like we will see like what are the things that we have done inside the react app now if i go to the react app the first thing that we see we'll have a route so basically we'll have four routes we'll have four out we'll have the landing page which will have a state change of course using the user state hook which will have a different state like if the user id is not there it will have a different uh, basic home page by saying that you are not logged in but if it has a user id we'll check uh, we'll change the state and we'll say you're logged in with a login password uh, with the email and the uh, the id the session id that is generated now again we then we have the login route by saying the login we have a login page we have the registration page and we'll also have a not found page so if it goes into a different is it still running yeah it's still running back have a backup so here so we'll go to the landing page here so here we have the landing page we're using the user state method yeah it's running yeah it's done so this is the landing page here go back to the code first then we'll see how it works so we'll have a landing page by saying that you are welcome to a react application you are not logged in what is it yeah you're not logged in and we'll have a button the bootstrap button one is the login one the register so the moment so here using a, a, a user state method and use state method and we are also using the user effect so every time it renders it will it will trigger this particular function and will run the uh, the, the info function and we to get the data itself now going back to the logging page so this is the logging page and we'll demonstrate how the logging page works so yes yeah, i'm since again the user state has to be changed the route has to be changed i'm not using any temporary template for it i'm just using a basic template so if i go back to the application this is a react app it's saying you're welcome to the react application you're not logged in because you're not actually so the moment we click to again it's a bootstrap button component that we're using so we'll get to the this is the basic login page so if i go to the code here so you are setting uh, the email and, and the password here is the user state and inside that we are simply passing so in the email field we are in the default value we are passing the email and the on change will setting it to the target value so here we will getting we we'll get the email and here we will get the password just like seeing and we are simply passing it so to get the post request we we can use the fetch also but here i am using where is it the http client we are using the exios here which is very easy if i wanted to get the any http response to it so here what we're gonna say we will use a try catch method and we will create a constant called response and we'll see we'll give in the post and this is coming from the back end which has a, a particular uh, uh, id localhost with a uh, with a port of 5000 and the reactor running in the port of 3000 uh, so that is the difference that is, a, that is the reason where is the, the course method is here, the backend as well, the course, well, yes, the course 
by putting the cost and we supporting the credential as true so that is the reason now here what we're gonna do we will go to the login and we'll pass the email and password so with the response we'll get a response here so if i just simply print like response dot data will definitely get the data and if 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 it's we are using the catch method the try and catch if it's okay we are just retrieving it to the the before page the previous page with a different state which is because now we'll have a state user id there and if not we are just having a invalid uh, uh, alert message by say invalid if, it, if it's 401 because the 401 you can see in the register page no, sorry the login page its error will get a 401 so the 401 will get a invalid so let's do it let's see how it works this is a login page this is a login page at the moment we'll get another raj is there and possibly one two three four five six we'll say first we'll say the wrong password there so let's say the invalid password will get a get an alert message if it's right we're gonna do one two three four five six it will redirect me to the in home page but this time the state of it will be changed by saying that you are successfully logged in and this is the id this is the email raj and we'll also have a lockout button the moment we will say the lockout it will pop out the the session id here in the back end we also done it and you say the first 200 locked out and this is the get id now if we create we wanted to create a register and we'll see the back end how it works so if i the same with the register page we have done same we're setting out the state and we're just putting it inside the script response i will see so if the name i say raj as well as there if i say hmm, raj kumar email i will say on the 19 i think it's already there nine let's say one two three four and let's get the password let's say L -A -A, L -A -A, one Format one and we'll go to log in. Well, again, we are successfully logged in. And if I go here, you can see that in the back end, we are having the SQL query is running using the same and the algorithm using the algorithm. A new register register will be created. You can see the SQL query is done again. We're getting it here. If you log out, we will. So here it's working. Let's go to the landing page and see like how it's really validating. So we, again, we are using a user state here with the user and we are using a ternary operator here. If the user is null, we can say it's not null. We can simply say you are successfully logged in with the ID and the email. And if it's not, then we'll have the default value for that. We also need to use a locked out button here so in the locked out you can see where is the locked out yeah this is the one in the function has also been created so it will go to the locked out and it will say simply popped out and will be returned to that particular page this is how it is simply authenticated again i will go and simply say uh raj one two three four five six is the right way to log in my register page is working my login page is also working and the moment the state will be changed the moment we'll say locked out we'll go to the next page. so this is about it i know it's pretty basic i haven't done anything in the template pages but it's working it's secured and yeah that's about today's project and thank you for watching